Hello Virgo, this is a love reading for December 23rd until the 31st. Thank you for all my Virgos that reached out this year for a personal reading with me, if you would like to have one with me. That information is in the description box. And also, uh, wow, thank you for uh, subscribing, liking, and sharing, and commenting. I so greatly appreciate all of you. If you're not a subscriber, tap that button and hit the bell. The first card out, we do have the hangman. So this is a surrender. You have surrendered to love right now. Virgo, this is a part uh, where I say you're just being very patient, not in a rush and um, not struggling. So this is such a peaceful surrender, knowing that something beautiful is about to transform when it comes to your thinking when it comes to the way you look at life, look at love, look at your relationships. Let's see what message is coming out for Virgo Spirit. What messages do we have for Virgo? That is too many cards, so I wasn't going to take it. Eight of Cups. Okay, so Eight of Cups says that either somebody left you or you left somebody here. So this Eight of Cups is going towards new horizons, something new after a very long period of staying within this energy so emotionally no longer fulfilled right because this is our cup cups are all about intuition emotions feelings so at some point it was not being reciprocated and this is the time where you had to walk away walking away from somebody as you are shifting your perspective here so there's a surrender in what you have walked away from so let's see what is coming on for Virgo when it comes to love. Okay. Oh, a new romance, Knight of Cups. We do have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, an offering of love. Somebody who's coming in very dreamy, intuitive, creative, emotionally available. This is a night. So somebody just comes in. You could be receiving flowers. You could be receiving some magic here. There's some magic that is happening here for Virgos. So let's see. What else is coming out? Knight of Cups, you are walking away and into 2021, something new that's a new energy that is coming in. Wow, the Hierophant, which is a commitment. <laughs> the Hierophant, this is somebody who is of higher vibration. This is somebody who's also um, ascended their thinking, right? Somebody else who also left a commitment or a marriage or a union. And this is telling me that there is a partnership coming on for Virgos. Virgo, as you have been ascending and working on your own growth and spirituality and the commitment to yourself, the universe is bringing you a new commitment. And that is so beautiful to see. Is like laughing with joy. This is so beautiful. So I'm really getting a very spiritual connection is headed for Virgo. Okay, let's see the other cards. <laughs> Some of you could be, look at that. Some of you could be juggling two people, maybe, maybe not, but this is justice, Libra. So this is the card of court. Some of you um, this is in regards to a union where now you may have to sign a document. So this could be marriage, anything involving that nature. So some of you had left it a union or you're waiting because the two of pentacles is juggling, going back and forth, right? With the idea of, um, of really bringing yourself to harmony and to balance. So we have two cards that are saying about harmony and balance. So what I'm seeing here as you have surrendered and walk away from something that was no longer fulfilling here, there's this new newness that is coming in. And this brings really harmony and balance is justice. So this is telling me this is um, a very balanced union that is coming in here for you. But this is don't be stuck in the past and into the future. Stay present, be present, um, because that's going teeter tottering, whether, you know, that's just back and forth, back and forth. But it is saying here that there is somebody who's coming in with the justice card as well. Um, that could also signify union and marriage, a card that fell on the floor. Ooh, it's Capricorn. It is the devil. So if there is somebody from the past that is coming in, could be tempting you into taking their offer. This is a temptation or somebody that comes in that says that they have also shifted perspective and now they want to be in this union together. Again, this is somebody um, who was 
I hate to use the word toxic, but toxic to your feelings, to your emotions, and to the way um, there's an attachment here. So maybe some of you are still attached to a past person, and this is telling you not to juggle this. So the devil, you're to master this energy. Ask yourself what is still tempting you in staying in this energy of needing justice, needing to bring harmony and balance when the devil card shows up. Um, it could also be for some that it is very sexual. This is also having codependency and having um, needing. There's that feeling, uh, that grip that is hanging on to you. So the devil card, it is also saying in a past connection, there was a lot of temptations that were within a union within the past. Let's get another card out. One fell on the floor, one flipped over in my hand. The two that are here, wow. And look at it at the bottom of the deck. Magician, strong, strong, strong. Aries, Taurus, Leo is what I'm getting here. So some of you could definitely have been dealing with an Aries, Taurus, Leo. If not, then some of you are definitely. So I'm going to put this here. So somebody could have been controlling of a relationship in the past. Let's just get that out of the way. But now what I'm seeing is that you are taking control back of the past and really transmuting this energy of any codependency, taking a seat of your life. And as you do, this beautiful connection, look at that, comes in. King of Wands. Again, I'm going to talk about the fire energy with the devil. So when I'm seeing a fire energy, right, with the devil, it talks about really fire is a passionate energy. It is a creative life force. And it is an energy that one really has to um, be very productive in this way. So can there be somebody in the past who was using their fire energy in a sexual way is what I'm getting because this is the card of temptations. So somebody's not using that energy to really bring um, something that's stable. So it's really saying, be careful how you use your fire energy is what I'm saying. You have to get a control of yourself when it comes to that. But I do see a Leo possibly coming in. I'm just seeing what fell on the floor. And then this is magic. So you're manifesting new, something new that is really coming in. You are the magician. Whatever it is that you want to bring in, you are bringing in. And I'm seeing this as somebody who's very loving, gentle, um, emotionally available, somebody who's, who wants to commit, somebody who's already raised their vibration, and somebody who sits in their own throne, as in he's very trustworthy, reliable, and really filled with a lot of, again, passion. So for some of you, this can happen after a karmic connection or after a separation or a divorce, bringing harmony and balance. Some of you could be juggling between two people okay, in 2021. So let's see what is coming out in the dream oracle. And let's see, let's see the message that we're getting box. So this says reveal your sacred power. Absolutely. I think some of you have just been very boxed in, okay? And the secrets that you have within yourself are now revealing themselves to you. And this is the beautiful card that says, you know what? There's things inside of you, there's magic inside of you that is revealing itself to you. So allow yourself to go deep within. When I see the card of box, is really asking you to go deep within yourself. So what is it that is within you that you're not revealing? You really wanna make that happen. And my eyes right now are also going to food and eating. Be mindful of the thoughts you are ingesting. So whatever you're eating and whatever thoughts you're taking in, you really want to look at that right now so you can transform because the foods we eat also affect our thinking and our vibration. And again, just going in this box, you know, when, when you go into the box, the box is the mind, right? So it's your beliefs, it's your thinking, it's your thoughts. So you may want to ask yourself if you've buried your own t treasures within this box buried your own light within this box. It's time for you to become transparent and to become out of the box. That's what it is. Maybe some of you have boxed yourself in into the old way, into the old, but you have raised your vibration and it is telling you be open to new love because you are the magician. 
what you're going to bring in is something new because you really you're bringing things out that have been buried in the box is what i'm seeing and here with the food and eating be careful of what food it you're putting into your body so again this is going deep within yourself to transmute these energies I am seeing I am seeing commitment coming in in 2021 and I do see it being something very dreamy. We have the card of turquoise, spiritual path like I said with the hierophant. This is going to be a very spiritual union for um my Virgos here and it says your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you which prompts you to make necessary life changes. Yes, as you're digging into this box that has been buried within you, you're now seeing yourself as a spiritual being having this life experience. So the things that had held you back before, your own temptations, the codependencies, anything of that nature, you're now reigniting yourself, really being gentle. And there's this beautiful energy. Again, I'm getting fire water signs that is coming in, which is going to be very magical. So be open to it because I do see a great union coming in. So I'm going to shuffle and take it. Okay, the card that wants to come is on the floor. <laughs> we have the card of purpose. This card says you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. Yes, absolutely. After everything that is going on here, you are still showing love. You are love. And this is what you are demonstrating here. And this came in reverse. So it says to me that you're still finding yourself. So you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. So I believe that here, as you reveal more of yourself and really be careful of the foods that you bring in, you're really aligning yourself to a spiritual path, which brings you this beautiful spiritual connection, one of higher vibration. And it is, I'm going to say it again, uh, young and dreamy. Like this is a beautiful energy. It's like this person that's coming in, that person's already raised their vibration is what I'm receiving here. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So yes, look, it's being childlike. It's like having that. Again, I'm getting very young love is what I'm getting. Young, new love and wedding. Wow. <laughs> and then we have release your ex. So the time has come to clear your energy and this situation involves marriage. For some of you, okay, this is a new love that you're going to grow old with is what I'm getting. Whether you get married or whether you come into um, a commitment, but I do somebody that really brings the child out within you, you bring the child out within them. And this is a union that really has a long-term commitment. How beautiful is that? Let's get my twin flame cards. This is the deck that I've made. Let's see for the hangman, what card is coming out? Timing, not to be right now. Perfect. Divine timing is at work here. Hangman is a surrender. You're just surrendering right now to what 2021 is going to bring for you. And it says, yes, it's all about timing. Everything is about timing, right? Let's see for the Eight of Cups. What happened? What did you move away from? What is this energy that is coming here for you? And the card. I don't know. I can't. I've been doing readings all day. And this is saying so. This is, I feel home with you, safe. So you feel like you moved away from something or someone that just felt really safe for you. So you stayed in a connection that was really feeling home, feeling safe. Again, I'm seeing with the justice card, whether this is a marriage, whatever this was for you, this is just saying, but it had to go with the devil card. You had to take control back of your life to create something new, something that is higher vibrational, something that is more, you know, just fun. Something fun is what I'm getting with the kid, joyous. So we're getting, I feel home with you with that card here. We got sacred union, divine timing, synchronicity. Again, I'm feeling somebody new that is coming in for you in one last card. And we're going to take one last card and I'll take this one. And it says, knowing there is no one but you. Yes, absolutely. There is somebody truly beautiful that is coming in for you. And you will both just know it. The Zodiac card, Aquarius is coming out. And let's give the sun. So Leo, 
also. Sending you much love, much light. What a beautiful reading. Until next time, namaste.